the most controversial royal family moments they want you to forget. While many idolize the British royal family, the institution has been rocked with a plethora of controversies through the years. Many royal scandals have played out in the tabloids, meaning that the world already knows the, at times alleged, sordid details, but there are several moments members of the monarchy probably wish we would forget altogether. From very public affairs to illegal activities to embarrassing moments caught on camera, it's been proven time and again that the Windsors are just like the rest of us, even Queen Elizabeth II isn't free from controversy herself. Living in the public eye is undoubtedly difficult, especially when you're born into public life like the royals are. However, it's impossible to entirely excuse all of the royal family's controversies and scandals, especially as some have prompted legal action or serious brushes with the law. Here, we explore some of the most controversial royal family moments that they probably wish could be erased from history. One thing you'd probably assume about Buckingham Palace is that it's incredibly secure. However, Queen Elizabeth II received quite a shock in 1982, when a man managed to sneak into her bedroom one night. As reported by The Independent, Michael Fagan, then 32, scaled the barbed wire topped, 14 feet wall of Buckingham Palace and shinned up a drainpipe and then made his way to the monarch's boudoir. As if that wasn't crazy enough, Fagan jokingly told the tale of what must have been a strange and scary night for the Queen. Recounting the night in question, Fagan told the outlet, she was sleeping in there on her own. He then reportedly laughed while adding, her nightie was one of those liberty prints and it was down to her knees. According to the intruder, the Queen asked what he was doing there, before quickly making her getaway, she went past me and ran out of the room, her little bare feet running across the floor. But that's not all, Fagan reportedly triggered two different alarms while wandering around the palace, before he turned up in the Queen's bedroom. However, the royal security team apparently believed that the alarms were merely faults in the system. Oops. Luckily, Fagan appeared to mean Queen Elizabeth no harm. And as he told the Independent in 2020, I don't know why I did it, something just got into my head.